Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys a really simple question. What time is it? It's not where I was going with that. It's totally not where I was going with that. But okay, I'm going to run with it anyway. Almost everybody, when they decide to figure out what time it is, they look down. And I'm going to tell you that the way to tell what time it is is to look up. And the practice, the hack that I've uh, cultivated in myself of looking up to figure out what time it is has yielded unbelievable benefits. Uh, the first is during the daytime. Now, we're very fortunate here to live in Colorado in that we have sun most of the time. And so you can generally speaking spot the sun in the sky. And with just the faintest amount of uh, directional awareness, uh, comes in handy to have mountains to the west that always makes it way easier to figure out the direction it is. You can pretty quickly figure out what time it is, right? And of course, the more that you cultivate that skill, the, the quicker you can do it. Right? And the more accurate you can be, right? I'm generally, during the, day, during the sunshine day, can be within 10 or 15 minutes of the actual time. And usually, I'm pretty close, within just a few minutes. Um, even though, it, it's interesting, so, so that's the easy way to think about it, right? And, and of course, when it's cloudy, everybody says, oh, well, it's cloudy, so we can't see the sun, so we can't know what time it is. Well, actually, the more you spend time looking up, the more you see that a cloudy sky at 8 o'clock in the morning looks very different than a cloudy sky at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And in fact, even without being able to see the sun, you can tell what time it is during the day by looking up. And that's pretty cool. At nighttime, it seems like that'd be kind of tricky, right? But, but actually, um, for starters, of course, you could become uh, you know, a fantastic uh, astronomer, right? And, and know what time it is cosmically in the universe by seeing all the galaxies. Uh, with all the light pollution we have here and, and the busy mind uh, that I still have uh, on, on many a day, I don't quite have captured the, the whole uh, star map, unfortunately. Um, but, but we do have this fantastic thing called the moon, which comes in really handy in, in, once again, telling time. If you know when the moon rises and when the moon sets, just as the sun does, generally speaking, a majority of the days of the year, you you can still look up during the nighttime and, and tell what time it is. And I think that the, so, so first and foremost, it means that you don't have to wear anything on your watch and there's no funny tan line, or on your wrist and there's no funny tan line. And second of all, I think it starts to help ourselves realize that it isn't the digital devices, right? So many of us have multiple. We all probably have like three digital devices in the room, right? And we're so connected to those things for sort of telling us the truth, right? And of course, there's one thing we know that if, if, if the truth is out there, it probably isn't on my iPhone. Um, and, and so, and so it, it shakes us into, into recognizing that, that there's this much broader story of what's going on, what time it is now as a metaphor, not just trying to figure out whether I'm five minutes late or early for my meeting. And, and it really, I think, connects us to you know, what time it is cosmically and where we are in the evolutionary story of human beings, again, by continuing to look up and continuing to look around where we are and understand the space that we are. It also connects us to needing to be outside, which I think is another one of those really deep sort of anti-digital stories that, that at least I'm telling right now um, that, that seems really important. And so it reminds us that we, we actually can't know what time it is without being outside and looking up and looking around. And so uh, it's really been a practice of mine for several years now. Um, you know, it's always been something that happens sort of on the periphery, but I think that more that I tune into the moon cycles and more that I tune into where the sun is in the sky and where the stars and the planets are in the sky. It really has provided me with, with a much better understanding of, of what time it is. And, uh, and I should have known, you know, known the time, of course, is now. So thank you guys very much.